Hi. Hi. Hey, excuse me, girls, but I am really lost. Could you tell me where Water Street is, please? Sure. It's, uh, you just go to the corner, hang a left, and it's maybe five or six miles. Five or six miles? Yeah. I'm not even close, am I? <laughs> no. Well, thanks. Sure. Mm -mm. Come on, you're almost a married woman. I can enjoy the view. Sorry, the car won't start. Do you have a phone I could use, please? Oh, sorry, this place doesn't have a phone yet. Oh, damn. Um, well, where's the nearest payphone? There's a gas station about mm, half a mile due north. Mm. Well, you wouldn't happen to have a compass on you, would you? <laughs> no, it's that way. That way? Okay, well, thanks again. Sure. Ivy, you're drooling. No, I'm not. You know what? It's about lunchtime. I think I'm gonna make a run. You want your usual? You're not serious. You're going after him. It's a lift to the gas station. What's wrong with that? It could be an axe murderer. Well, you saw those pants. No way he's got an axe. Phone? Yeah, great. Thanks. Well, it's a real pleasure to have a lady rescue me for a change. Oh, are you usually the rescuer? Sometimes. I hope you're not in a big hurry to get to Water Street. Well, actually, I am kind of late, but I'll tell you what, I'll pay you cab fare if you take me over there. You don't have to pay me. What brings you to Shell Beach? Business. What do you do? As little as possible. That doesn't sound very ambitious, coming from a man with a $50,000 car. 70. Oh, very impressive. You're not the kind of girl that's impressed by cars. Are you trying to impress me? Yeah. It's just not working out real well. But I'll tell you what, why don't we start over? What's your name? Ivy. John Daniele. The John Daniele? John Paolo Daniele IV. Most people just call me Johnny. I don't tell me you're impressed by that. Well, you have to admit, that's kind of impressive. Ivy, did your mother ever teach you not to believe anything you read in the tabloids? Yeah, and she also told me not to pick up strangers. We're on water. It's right up here. Thanks. Bon appetit. Thanks. <laughs> oh, I'll have somebody pick the car up later, okay? Okay. Listen, can I repay the favor with dinner? Oh, that's okay. And uh, what about breakfast? Are you trying to pick me up? <laughs> I could have sworn you picked me up. Oh, yeah, that's right. I guess I did. Well, in case you change your mind, I'm here most nights. It's uh, sort of an investment of mine, okay? Okay. Thanks again. Sure. Bye. Bye. Yep. 
How's this for a romantic setting? Well, I think it would be nicer if we were alone. Mm. Women. You really like to milk the mama for all it's worth, don't you? Well, to be fair, you didn't get down on one knee. Would one knee satisfy you? Or do you want me to crawl? Do I have a choice? <laughs> you sure you want me to ask again? Yeah. You think my chances are good? Yes. Well, damn it, why don't you just say yes? No. Watching me suffer, don't you? Yes. Oh, just dance with me. I don't want to just dance with you. I want to marry you. I want us to have a family. Some women aren't cut out to be mothers. Children. Children that aren't mine. I don't think I'd be a very good mother. I don't want some little girl wandering around looking for a, for a mother who isn't there. What do you mean? What little girl? Listen, remember this song? No. All day long I dream. Just seems a shame. So all day long I dream of Caroline. The folk song recognizes the sign. When the folk see me, I dream, I'm dreaming of my Pickup truck. I was wondering what was under those dungarees. I hope you're not disappointed. <sighs> buy a drink. You can buy me a glass of wine. Okay. I'll see dinner to go with that wine. My mother always told me never to drink on an empty stomach. Smoke. 
some of this means. <laughs> what do you want? The same thing you do. To find my soulmate. You can do whatever you want to do. Well, there's something I have to do first. Okay. Just a minute. It's late, but I have to talk to you. What's wrong? I don't think we should get married. <laughs> okay. We don't have to get married. We can slow things down. I don't think we should see each other anymore. What? What are you talking about? Happened, but I have to end it. You don't have to do anything. You can't be serious, Ivy. It's 2 a.m. You come over here dressed like a hooker to tell me you have to end it? Yeah. Ivy. We're right for each other. I wish I could be so sure. I'm sorry. <laughs> so that's it. You, you wake me up in the middle of the night to break up with me. This couldn't wait till tomorrow. No. Why not? There's someone else. Sex isn't everything, girl. It's not just about sex. You think I'm making a mistake, don't you? Oh, no, no, but to dump a great guy like Dave for a guy like Johnny just doesn't make any sense. What do you mean a guy like Johnny? He's he's smart and romantic and he's fun. He's a heartbreaker. He's with a different gorgeous actress, model, rock star every week. With a guy like Johnny, you might be the flavor of the month, but what about next month? Dave really loves you. He'd stick by you for a lifetime. Don't you think it's interesting that his car just happened to break down right there? I mean, he wasn't even supposed to be in the neighborhood, but there he was, right there. I've never felt like this before. I've never felt like this in high school with Dave. Never. I can't stop thinking about him. It's like I have no resistance to him. Maybe he's the one I've been looking for all my life, and that's why I freaked out when Dave asked me to marry him. Maybe... Maybe something inside me knew that Johnny was just around the corner. I hope you're right. Just don't go too fast. 